Hello, hello, and welcome. Today I'm going to work a tutorial with you guys on how to do the blanket stitch. So I've worked up a small little sample here for you so you can see it works up so quickly. It's just a combination of single crochets and double crochets. It's reversible. Let's work this one together. All right, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna work with a worsted weight acrylic yarn, and I'm working with a 5.5 millimeter hook. To start the blanket stitch, we're going to work a slip knot, and our foundation chain is going to be any multiple of three. I'm going to work 21. To work a chain, you're just going to yarn over your hook and pull through the loop to pull up a new loop. Yarn over, pull up a new loop, yarn over, pull up a new loop. So I've worked five chains here. Keep working in your desired length. Like I said, I'm gonna work 21 and then I will meet you in work row one with you. Okay, so I've finished off 21 chains. You'll have something that looks like this. To start row one, I'm going to turn my work over, work into this back bar, and we're going to work a double crochet into the third chain from our hook. So one, two, three, work a double crochet here, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. So we have three, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. The rest of this, we're gonna repeat across this row. We're gonna skip two chains and into the following, you're going to work one single crochet followed by two double crochets all into that same chain. So skip two into this chain here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. So there's two on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. That's a single crochet. And into that same stitch, work two double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then one more into that same stitch. And this is that easy. I think they call it the blanket pattern because you can mindlessly work it while you're watching a TV show. We will skip two into the third, work a single crochet, followed by two double crochets into the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that all the way across row one and I'll meet you at the end and show you how to finish it off. So I just finished up my last single and two double crochet cluster. And when you're at the end, you're gonna have three chains remaining. And to finish off row one, we're going to skip two and into the final stitch, just work one single crochet. So that is how you finish off row one. And you're gonna have something that looks like this. If you're using a smaller hook than what is recommended for your yarn, it's going to be a lot tighter of a stitch and it might even pop out a little bit. And if you use a bigger one, it's gonna give you this look. To work row two, which is our repeated row, so this stitch is super easy, it's just one row repeat for however long you want. We're gonna start it with a chain two, and that does not count as a stitch. Next, you're gonna turn your work over and into that very first single crochet from the previous row, you will work two double crochets. And then the following is going to be repeated across the row. You will skip two stitches and into the following, work that cluster from the previous row, the one single crochet, two double crochets. If you're having a hard time identifying where to work it, you're not going to be working into the top of the double crochets, but you'll be working into the top of the single crochet. So we're coming here, we're going to skip double crochet, double crochet, and then into the single crochet. And you're going to work that all the way across. So skip two into that single. We will work a single crochet followed by two double crochets into the same stitch. and keep working that across and I'll meet you at the end. Skip two, cluster into here. I'm just finishing up the row, so I'm working my final cluster. 
and then we'll look together. You have this turning chain here, and that's where we're going to work a single crochet to finish off the row into the top of the turning chain. At the end of row two, you'll start to see it coming together. Let's work row two one more time, a little bit faster. We're gonna chain two, turn our work around, and work two double crochets into that very first stitch. We're gonna follow that up by skipping two and working a single crochet, followed by two double crochets into the very next stitch. And you're gonna repeat that across. And for however long you want your project to be, skip two, do the cluster. I'm gonna work up a larger sample spot just so you can see how cute this stitch really is. Okay, so I'm just finishing up a larger sample swatch here. Usually I have something to say about the name of a stitch, but I think this one was appropriately named, calling it the blanket stitch. It works up so quickly and with patients like mine, I like a stitch that works up quickly when I'm working a blanket. So look how cute this is. It does have a nice texture. It's thick and thin at the same time. I don't even know how that happens. This is the blanket stitch. I hope this tutorial helped you guys figure it out.